There it is. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the live stream. Fox Hunter here on behalf of the Wild Diamond Hunt Club. As you can hear, I now have my voice back, and I'm hoping permanently. But for me, laryngitis is a funny thing. If you haven't watched my last video, I highly recommend you do. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I am getting over a case of laryngitis. And for me, it's hit or miss. It kind of comes and goes. So we'll go as long as we can. Um... I am starting this live stream a little early because I was invited to a little get together tonight with one of my friends uh, who got a new job. So we're going to be celebrating that with her and I'm very excited. So um, I will be cutting the live stream probably, what time is it? Probably no later than six o'clock, but uh, thank you all for being here early. I know uh, it's been a little like back and forth these last few weeks, but uh, yeah, I'm glad to be online. Pardon. I just uh, choked down a chicken sandwich for lunch. <laughs> it's been a kind of a crazy day. It was a nice, sunny, windy day where I'm at. So I just got back from flying a kite, which was a lot of fun. Hello, everybody. Uh, Jerem, always the first. Hoy, hello. How are you? Cameron, not good to see you. Coop, always a pleasure. The golf kid, yo, how are you doing? And Sea Kayak, good to see everybody. Hello, hello, hello. It's good to see you all. So we already got started with this beautiful uh, level two white-tailed deer, a nice gold at 212. He's got a pretty decent rack. It's weird because it's drinking time, and I, they just happen to be up here on the hillside, so I don't know why they weren't heading for their drink zone yet. But, uh, yeah, so we'll be uh, doing some white-tail. I've decided to change my focus from the great one black bear to the white-tail until I can either figure out how to do a bear population reset or a full population reset on... Um, Mississippi acres only. I don't want to reset all of my populations or restart my game because I still have active grinds going elsewhere. And there may be a chance that uh, EW will just go ahead and reset the bear populations anyway. So I don't know. I think I'm holding out for that or until I decide what I want to do. You're the only one. Oh, no. Were we abandoned? Well, did I wait too long? Darn chicken sandwich. It was a good one, though. It was from Chick-fil-A, so... Can't be mad at me for wanting to eat that. So, <laughs> all right. So, looking for some white tail. It is white tail drink time. I have settled on doing my grind on New England mountains because Reventuli Coast is just way too distracting for me with all the game birds and stuff. So, this is what we'll be doing. Doesn't look like we have any white tails here. And I forgot to put my dog away. So, I'm going to have to go take care of that as well. Oh, you are here. Okay, good, good, good. Um, I wasn't sure what was going on. Uh, I hadn't seen a, a chat in a while, so it's good that everybody's here. Thank you again for being here. I know we're early and everything, so it means a lot to me that you can be flexible with that. But I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I hope you're all having a great Saturday. Uh, like I said, it was a beautiful, sunny day outside, so I went and flew my kite. Um, I used to own a professional kite, and uh, I just felt like a good day to go out and do that, so... 
was a lot of fun. You guys can get outside and it's a nice sunny breezy day. I highly recommend flying kites. We oh dog. Dog dog dog. Hey Dukes. Hey Dukes, where'd you go? There you are. Hi Day Dukes. Hey Dukes in your big old head. Alright. That's what I say to my real dog. I don't need her right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and kennel her. Just so she doesn't bother. And hopefully we'll find some other cool stuff while we're out here. Yeah, the New England map is absolutely beautiful, Kayak. I really, really do enjoy hunting this map. It hits a little close to home for me because I used to live in the New England area. If you go back and you watch my review videos of this map before it came out, I talk a lot about that and how it looks very much like the New England landscape. And so... Um, it, it hits a little close to home, and I, I had some experiences in New England that, you know, it, this this map is very evocative of. So, it makes me a little homesick, I guess. So many bears. Watch, I have a great one initial spawn, right? My car was encased in ice today. Oh my gosh, are you in Alaska? I missed, like, all of the past two live streams. I'll try to be here the whole stream, but I'm going to go to the movie soon. Oh, cool. Please don't ever feel obligated to stay the whole time. I know my schedule's kind of like up and down sometimes, so I can't in good conscience expect you to be here for the whole thing or even be here at all sometimes. So I just appreciate the time that you can give me. It's it's wonderful when you can be here. And I hope the movies are good. What are you going to go see? But thank you. I, I appreciate your concern. Yeah, all good. We're all good. Don't be alert, sir. It's fine. You're fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Everything's fine. What do we got here? Oh, we got three decent bucks. Ugh. This is where my fast firing skills is going to have to really shine. West of Boston. Dang. Uh, yeah, I guess it would still be cold up there. I'm I'm definitely further south, so it's it's a little bit warmer where I'm at. Oh hi. Oh my gosh. There's so many whitetail in this lake. Are you a wonky feather? Look up. No, not quite. You just got a really tall couple of spines in the back. Alright. So we're gonna spook one of these herds, whether we like it or not. Um so I, since he's the only one there. Well, no, we also got him. I think it would be more prudent of me to try and take these three fillers out. Or at least two of them out. So get reloaded. Oh, the new Ghostbusters movie. Yes, I wanted to see that because I really liked how the previous one in this iteration kind of paid homage to the original. I'm such a fan of the originals. off to my brain again. All right, we'll just settle with what we got. Yeah, I especially like how they paid homage to e Egon. He was my favorite character, and when they did what they did for him, I'm not going to spoil it, but when they did what they did for him in the previous movie, it was, it was very nice. Um, very... Very um, thought evoking and very heartfelt, I thought. Lake Ontario, I mean, you get that lake effect weather. Oh my gosh. Just remember not to share exactly where you where you live, guys. Generalities is fine. Um, but yeah, I used to live off of Lake Michigan and uh, that lake affects snow. That's a good nice silver. Um it could it could really mess with the, the weather up there for sure. We didn't spook, maybe? No. So we're off to a pretty good start. We got all this going on. Let's see if we got anybody down here. They're by the book, so that's good. 
So my grind for whitetail is not set up at all. Like I don't have anything going for me right now as far as whitetail. And while I pretty well settled on New England mountains, I, I also have hankerings to go to Leighton Lake. So there's a possibility I might change my mind. But for now, I, I feel pretty confident and comfortable. Oh, hi. Gosh, bears. They're like, hey, don't forget about us. Um, yeah, maybe next time, feller. Bad. 501, huh? Probably a 7. Waves are and big white caps. Nice. Yeah, I remember Lake Michigan would get those too. If, if the wind was whipping off the lake. My goodness. People don't give it enough credit. They really don't. Um, the Great Lakes are like miniature oceans up there. Sorry, I might cough periodically, guys. Um, like I said, for me, laryngitis is a funny thing. It comes and goes. Um, the more I rest my voice, the longer I can talk normally after. But the more I talk, the more grainy you're going to start hearing it. So I'll try to be judicious with it. Ed, huh? White tails, where are you? So, want to hear a funny story about the Great Lakes? It's probably going to embarrass the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, and I was highly imaginative and oh hello moose oh hello white tail why are you fleeing there is nothing to flee certain ma'am hold on guys I'll tell you tell you my story in a second aw oh, itty bitty <clears throat> There they are. Right. Probably that previous herd. You caught a king salmon on Lake Ontario. That's cool, Cameron. Oh my gosh. I never got a chance to go fishing on the Great Lakes, but I hear there's some really, really nice fishing up there. Anyway, so when I was a kid and I was big into like imaginative stuff and like I thought, fancied myself a, a storyteller and a writer at one point, and I was going to write a book about the Great Lakes, and each of the Great Lakes would have a dragon that would protect it. <laughs> and uh, they had magic powers and stuff, and it was just a really, really highly imaginative story as you can imagine. Um, but they were all named the Great Lakes names. It was quite silly, I thought. They could talk and they interacted with humans and Sky Duck wants your money. Ah, Twiggy potential. I want to shoot him and I have my classic on me. Where having Daisy would have come in handy. I don't know. I was fascinated with the Great Lakes when I was a kid. I, and I didn't live there at all. Well, okay. I did live in New York, in upstate New York for a while. Ugly. That face. The face that wants to eat your soul. It belongs in the room. Face in the room. So, 12.30 is diamond. Alright. I don't have a diamond in that species. 
why I wanted to see. Where did our white tails go? They Moose stuck around. White tails said, nope, we're gone. Grandmother lives on Cranberry Pond. I'm not sure where Cranberry Pond is, but that sounds like an awfully beautiful, cute little pond. That that sounds like a very New England name, like Cranberries. We live in Cranberry Pond. That is adorable. Uh-oh. Well, I messed up. They ran away. I run now. Goose video was hilarious. It was. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have wanted a diamond goose uh, to ask Coop. Coop, were you there when I, when you all taught me how to hunt geese? Like so long ago, like over a year ago. And I was like, I wanted a diamond Canada goose for everybody for being so kind and thoughtful and helpful. And yeah, I, I've wanted a diamond goose for a long time. I've never even seen a level five before that. And so it was a challenge to get that freaking goose. He would not come in after I spotted him. I spotted him one other time and he landed, but I happened to be off the tree stand at that point. So, of course, I was not in a good position to, to hit him. And so he... Just sat there and then he flew away all angry and stuff. So I was like very devastated that I didn't get him the first time I saw him again. But he was a jerk and he finally brought him down when I wasn't even really paying attention. I'd kind of given up and pushed my microphone out of the way and I had kind of like stopped even watching for him. And then I looked up and there he was and I was like, ah, my God. <coughs> Excuse me. Diamond Bobcat yet, and I've been shooting them quite a bit. Hi. Why do you look funny? I don't have the right gun to take you with, I don't think. Oh, we are pretty close to the little lake thing. Oh, big moose. Maybe it's that moose that's crouching over there. So, didn't hit anything good, but nothing special about that cat. Obviously the wrong caliber weapon. Got going on. Hi, Jenbra. Welcome to the live stream. Hope you're doing well. We are shifting our focus from our great one black bear to a great one white tail because I'm still trying to figure out how to reset my bear population without resetting my entire game. I don't want to mess up my moose grind. I still want to go back and get another great one moose, but, you know, the usual nonsense.
Weird, I'm still 100 yards from the lake. They shouldn't be up this far. Maybe it's that herd I scared. It is. Hi, <gasps> little Betty, level one. Hi. Yes, you're so scary. You're so scary. I'm not going to shoot you anyways. Is it just you or are you a solo male? Well, level one whitetail lake. Yay. Alright, so I guess it's time to run the river. Um, okay. Hi, Jebba. How are you? Just wanted to stop and say hello. Hope you find something epic. Same. I'm going to just be doing some whitetail grinding today. And I've already taken the two special whitetail off of this map. At least I'm pretty sure. The piebald and the uh, guaranteed diamond. But, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Maybe I'll find my uh, melanistic pheasant. That would be great. But thank you for popping in, Jumbra. I really, or, uh, Jebba and Jumbra. <laughs> Both of y'all. The Jays. The JJs. Thanks for hop hopping on. I really appreciate it. Your dog is on you. Aw, how cute, Cameron. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll get a Daisy May fix. Have Daisy come in for a visit. Or maybe even Howard. He's been fussy lately because it's been sunny outside and he wants to go sit on the porch. Oh my god. Deer. You know what I haven't seen in a really long time is a Mela or a Albino. Albino would be nice. Or leucistic, even. Level two, okay. A couple of nice level twos. And a smaller one. I'm debating, guys. What do you think? I have a legitimate question for you. Should I herd manage this one, or should I just shoot everything I see? I mean, I strongly feel that herd management does help spawn great ones. There's a video on my channel that explains why if you haven't seen it yet. But I don't know. Part of me just wants to shoot everything in all the things. I think I can hit all three of them as long as that boy behind moves around when I fire on these two.
I would love a Melafella. Somebody conjure that for me. Somebody like manifest that because I need a a Mella fella in my life. A good a good Mella Whitetail trophy would be nice. I do have a Mella Whitetail. I have I have two. I have a female and a male. One was from a multiplayer server and the other was from my own map, but um Lane Lakes. But it's just been a long time. New England seems to be very difficult to do her management. That's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, reload. Yeah, I've been picking hard maps for my last two grinds. I don't know why. Pride, maybe. Two. Oh well. I kind of feel like I just want to run the map in a big circle. So ignore the middle river and just run the big circle river and just shoot as I go and see if that spawns him. You know what I mean? Just like running the river. See, that's exactly what I was thinking, is just run the river in a big circle. Just shooting as I go. Because it's big enough, your your hunting pressure is going to chase you around your map if you do that. So you don't really have to worry about cleaning out the zones or using tripods or anything. Just run a big circle. I did her management in New England Mountains, and it did pay off in the end, although it's pretty hard. Yeah. I don't know. I just can't do Revan Thule. I have tried. I Between my bear grind and everything else that I've been working on, the upland game birds are too distracting for me. Like, I am completely like squirrel whenever I see them, and I want to break out my, my uh, shotgun and go after them. So uh, New England Mountains seems like a fair bet, because... You know, there's only really turkeys and pheasants and a few ducks. Um, and they don't interest me as much as like willow ptarmigan and black grouse and hazel grouse and all of them. So I do like uh, Leighton Lake. It's also a really nice uh, grind map uh, for whitetail because you just got them on that left hand side and along the coast of, on the bottom. At least that I know of. Excuse me. The thing with New England Mountains, though, that eh, is when the rivers split like this. It's like it could be on either side. I got three mil of whitetail in the Northeast River. Nice. Yeah, it would be nice to do whitetail. I'm a little disappointed with how the bears turned out. I've, heard, I've seen so many different reports of people being like, oh, I've shot my bears and they're not showing up in the, in my new drink zones. You know? And I don't want to go through all that hodgepodge right now. White tail it is for the foreseeable future. And if I happen to see a bear, I'll just shoot it. So what are you guys working on today? <clears throat> Silver melas, but they look good in the lodge. I mean, melas always look good in their lodge. Melas are one of my favorite fur, fur types. Uh, rare for, for rare fur types, mela is like probably my favorite, especially among the bird species. I think mela wears really well, though I haven't gotten an albino bird yet. I've gotten a leucistic, a leucistic um, female ring-necked pheasant, and she's gorgeous. 
I would love to see what an albino would look like, but... From my experience, every fourth or fifth bear actually moved to the drinks time. It was not what they said would be happening. Really? That's interesting news. I hadn't heard that yet. Grinding red deer on Quattro. Nice. Quattro is where I got my first big rack level 9. And I have a living big rack level 9 on... Um, uh, why did I want to say Pinto? No. Um, South America. South America map. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't remember it. It's one of my favorites. I want to say... For some reason, my brain said it keeps saying, and I kid you not, I don't know why it's saying Pinto de Mayo. No. <laughs> ah. Um. Map. South America. Somebody help me. Well, but, right. Um. I can't go anywhere until I figure this out. Oh my gosh, I'm comp Park it! Park Fernando! Jeez, jeez, oh mm, my gosh. Guys, the struggle is real. The Falk struggle is so real right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kayak. I appreciate that. Uh, Coop, you're just hanging around your house? That's fine. You know what? That's probably some of the best time you can spend is just being in your space. Just chilling, hanging out. Hey, Jabiz. Welcome. Are you doing herd management on England? Sucker for punishment? I know, right? Uh, not sure about herd management yet. I'm literally just starting my grind. Um, I thought about just running the map in a big circle continuously until something pops. You know, just, just like run it in a circle. So, I don't know. Okay, you may stop screaming at me, ma'am. Um, but... You know, you, though I'm on New England Mountains, there is a real chance I might switch over to Leighton Lake because I can't do Rub and Tule, And I was just explaining to the to the team here that it's just too distracting with the Upland game birds. I just can't do it. Last time I tried it, it was a disaster. <laughs> I'd be like, bird, and run off like 400, 500 yards into the woods and then just keep going. Yes, I need a mellow pheasant for sure. And a mellow fox would be nice. Well, it's 9 p.m. for me, so I'm just chilling. Oh, wow. Are you on the other side of the puddle? Oh, hi. Well, you're fancy. You're an orange. Red. Red orange. Dead orange. Goodbye, everything in a 500-yard radius. I got my great one on late, Leighton. The nostalgia is real. See, that's what I really like is getting the flagship great one on the flagship map. That would be awesome. Maybe I should switch to Leighton. I don't know. I just, I wanted to spend some time in fall colors today. But, uh, Jabez, you raise a really good point. That That is a wonderful map to do your white tail grind on because it's nostalgic and... It is the first, and it is the most chill map in the game, so. It's 4.23 p.m. for me. Wait, what time is it? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, so you're, you're East Coast. Oh, that's right. You're, you you told me roughly about where you are. Yeah, I came all the way here from Eastern Europe. Oh, wow. Well, I am honored that you chose to hang out with me, so that's uh, that's awesome. If you're kidding, please tell me, because right now my brain's not functioning at full capacity. No cylinders banging in here. It's just, they're knocking against the sidewalls. I was thinking on trying to do that. All G1s on original maps. Oh, that would be cool. That's a challenge. I don't even know if Scarecrow's done that. Okay. Medium fox up there. Got some white tail. Ooh, that's a decent one. All right, let's see. Down they go. Anybody else? Oh, of course. Uh, there was one other juicy looking one up there. Where'd he go? Okay. 
a little high. Okay, well, we got two more boys down. Could use the money. Maybe I should just pop them with the 300 for fun. But I am using my Eckers. I love this gun. It's got such a great range on it. I do love the new 300. How many of you are really enjoying the heck out of that new 300? And the little little fancy flintlock pistol we got. The, the Jernberg. That one's nice. I know Pro uh, XKC or XCK, sorry, got his Red Deer on Hirsch, but Crow definitely didn't. I mean, anybody who can pull off Hirsch for any Great One grind, hats off because Hirsch is my least favorite map. Like, New England Mountains has a similar feel in many ways, but Hirsch has no real good line of sight uh, along its waterfronts. And so anybody who can pull off doing that is like, I salute them. Um, I wouldn't even consider Hirsch. And I'm already doing my Great One Black Bear grind on Mississippi, which is a lot harder than uh, SRP, but I like the night sounds better on... Uh, uh, Mississippi, not, not that it matters anymore. I'll be back on in a little bit. Alright, Cameron. Take your time. Like I said, I'm probably going to end this between 5 and 6 o'clock because I have an event at 7 I'm going to. Which is why I started early for those of you who jumped on late. Oh yeah, the new uh, 300 is nice. Yeah, it is. It's up there. It's a, it's a really great gun. I know a guy who successfully grinded red deer and fallow on hers. Oh my gosh. Again, salute. Because that is a hard map. It is the least favorite map of the community. And I can say that with fair confidence, I think. Oh, hi. All of them. Do I have this? Why does his rack look weird? That That other one, look how stubby his little rack is. Can't get a beat on him either. Well, not this guy, but the guy next to him. He has a funny little rack. Like, it looks like what I, I like to call, used to call the castle rack, but um, it's squat and short. It's so weird. There you go. A little level two. You look funny, my friend. You just look funny. All right, so we need to bring him and his buddy down. Let's see. Hey, Ashley. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, hi, I'm new here. How many kills? Probably uh, in the neighborhood of 20-ish. So it's a very early grind, <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Actually, I should be taking these down. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm just now starting. So you're in right at the beginning of the, the adventure, so to speak. Drop. All right, got them both. But we'll just say that's 22 and 23. Because <laughs> I, I have done some hunting on this map, uh, for Whitetail. Not a lot, but... Yeah, I should start keeping track of that, because that's what people want to know. That's what people want to know. I have three grinds going on my counters. Hey, funny little friend. Look at his rack. I don't know what it is about it. It looks weird to me. Like, it's so stubby. I wish I could rotate this. It's just so... It, there is a great one rack. That looks similar, but it's, you know, much more chunkier and stuff. So when I saw it, I was like, what are you, what are you doing? Little rack. Do I have a great one? I have three. I have the red deer, the fallow deer, and the moose obtained in that order. I was working on my great one bear before the new update, um, but with the bear drink time change... I've decided to change to Great One uh, Whitetail because I'm not sure how I want to handle 
the change in the drink time. Bird. Incidentally, if we do get a level three bird, we'll, we're going to shift our focus. And I do have a guaranteed diamond turkey on this map. Hanging around somewhere. Moose is my favorite. Oh, you should see mine. Mine is very, very pretty. His name is Eidolon, which means specter or ghost. And uh, there's another funny little rack. Oh my gosh, who's screaming at me and why are you up on the hill? Get off me. Rocks. Uh, mine, my moose is the two-tone with the uh, typical rack, which is gorgeous. Um, there's a video of me taking him down on my channel if you want to go back and watch. It was a really awesome hunt. Oh, I scared her. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, I did not aim well on that. Sorry, guys. Do I play with fans? Most requested type of content on my channel. Um, thinking about adding that as an option this year, it would follow very much what Lady Legend does, probably. Um, you would have to be a certain minimum age and have to interact and that kind of thing, but I haven't set any of that up yet. So, uh, just, uh, keep an eye out on for net announcements on the channel for that. But it is probably one of my biggest requests. I've thought about doing, one thing I've thought about doing is opening up one of my maps, maybe, maybe Hirschfelden, and taking brand new players who've, like, played very little or need additional guidance um, on guided hunts as a group, as long as I can get them to agree on, you know, rules of politeness and not shooting every trophy you see. So that's something I'm kind of got in the works that I'm examining as an option. Hi, Moose. But, um, you know, I only went live with my, uh, with my camera set up last year and not, not too too long in the last year. So I'm still getting used to some of the stuff. Some of the stuffs. And I don't want to steal any thunder from anybody, especially someone like Lady of the Legend. <laughs> You're level 32 with three diamonds? Nice. That's awesome. What are what are your diamonds? Are they all the same species or are they different? Probably gonna re I'm gonna go to this this house here and reset the time once I get around this bend. I messed up those deer just a moment ago. Oh, wait a minute. That was a pretty big one. See, again, birds. Very distracting for me. Maybe I should go to Layton. Because I've got a lot of diamond mallards. Different. So what species are they? I got lots of diamonds from lots of different species. I've been playing for a very long time. I do have an ultimate lodge tour on my channel if you want to go check that out and see some of my my trophies. And it's like all my trophies that I had up until that point. I've gotten a few since then, but Oh, hi. I definitely have zero diamonds, zero rares. Ha. I remember very early on, every time you got a diamond red deer, you'd announce it. And we were all like, oh, there's Coop again with his diamond red deer. Oh, those were the days, weren't they? Oh my gosh. Early, early folks. Level three black grouse. Nice. That's a hard one to get sometimes. It took me a long time to get one. Very nice. That's a good trophy right there. And go reset the time. Stop beeping, birds. Stop beeping. Go away. Oh, and you said uh, a white tail buck. Nice, nice. White tail, very classic diamond. I mean, I feel like everybody should get uh, a diamond white tail at some point in their call the wild career. Yeah, just flew right over you. That is so nice. 
you were so self-centered. <laughs> oh, Coop, we all go through phases. Rock this back. Okay. Sure. All right, since we're here, I want to check out this lake again. I don't have anything on it, and it looks like I've investigated it for something. But... Don't you just love it when, like, a diamond runs out right in front of you? Or flies right over you? That's, like, the best thing in the world, because then you're like, oh, cool. No work to be done, just follow it, get it down. I would love a mella pheasant. But he manifest a mella pheasant for me. Else maybe back in that spot. No, I shouldn't have. Sorry, 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 sorry. Aim, they look so cool. Yeah. Blue Pheasant is a redemption story for me. Much needed redemption story. Because I've had one before. But it was obtained through means that were like, not good. And I felt so ashamed after it. So it is my redemption trophy, if ever. All right, kitty, kitty. What were you doing? Okay, wrong caliber, of course. I do have my shotgun with me. Good birdie. Owl. Wait. Male? I thought it was a female. Gray coloration. Yeah, I doubt that was a male. What gun am I using? Right now, I've brought the Eckers Elegance, which is the 30 out 6. It's one of my favorites. For its range, I've got my Classica 22 for small game and the Executive 10 gauge for birds, just like the ones we just saw. So, uh, quite a spread. I think that's a, a appropriate for New England mounds. You can even get um, Moose down with the Ecker's Elegance, so it's not a very high caliber weapon for them. But if you get a good heart shot on them, it's perfect, so... That is my loadout for the day. Oh my gosh, look at all these ducks. Mallards. Little beep beep birds. Hello?
Or I saw him running down through here. Oh. Well, not my target today. You have a diamond blue wildebeest. Nice. I just recently got my first diamond blue wildebeest, and I got a second one on live stream, which was really cool. Funny. See, again, birds. Distracting. Very distracting for me. I don't know why. So what color is your blue wildebeest? Is it one of the gray ones, the gold ones? Welcome to the live stream. It's good to see you. We are hunting whitetail on New England mountains. Just kind of running around the map. Herbs. That's a really decent one. Hmm. There are no whitetail here. And we'll probably take out some of those ducks. Him. I know he's not diamond, but he's close. Are we on Rev? No, we are actually on um, New England Mountains, believe it or not. Really should just get disciplined and do Rev and Thule because if I want it quickly, that would be the way to go. I want to try something. It had twiggy potential. The diamond albino wildebeest, Ashley? Is that what you're saying? Because if that's the case, then you have a super rare, my dear, and I don't even have a super rare. Ah, no. Oh, God. I don't think there's white tail on this. I sucked at shooting the ducks, so. Yep. Alright. It's kind of running all the way back. Well, that is amazing. And congratulations, Ashley. That is awesome. I've I don't even have a super rare yet, and I want one so bad. Oh my gosh, you guys can't even. Well, I'm sure many of you can, but I can't odd either. But um yeah, I've always wanted a super rare, and I just don't have one yet. That's amazing. And I do have an albino wildebeest, and they're very beautiful trophies. So, excellent job. Congratulations. That's awesome.
Hello, hello. Where'd all the white tail go? Sorry, different diamond. I must not be following then. Oh, it was normal. Oh, okay. Gotcha. One day. Oops. Big moons? One moons? Gosh, could you imagine? Oh my gosh. Guy here wants your money. <laughs> oh, call the wild. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Ermy, good. Look at that deer. That's not normal, sir. Not normal. Can I help you down? <laughs> That's hilarious. I go for it. Let's see where it called from. Hi, dear. Wants your money. Yes. He really wanted your money. And down he goes. Absolutely. Down he goes. Into the wild blue yonder. It's alright. I, I read between the lines. I know what you meant. It's a classic on my channel. Sky Deer wants your money. Alright guys, which way should I go? Left or stay right? I haven't been down the main river yet. Oh my gosh, aren't you a twisty boy? Where did your leg go, sir? Sir. Sir, I do believe you are damaged, sir. Like this. Ah. <laughs> Left or right? You guys decide my fate. I think there's more deer along the main river. Go upwind. So if I was heading that way, then I'd be downwind from, or I'd be upwind for, from everybody. So you want me to go left. Is that right, Sea Kayak? Sure. That's how I'll interpret it. No, upwind is that way, right? Okay. I mean, it's kind of split. Eh, we'll go this way. I haven't been down this way yet, so maybe we'll find something cool. See, it's largely unexplored, so we'll just take a little over. Yeah, I think, haha, right. <laughs> oh.
That cross river is impossible with all the bends and twists, right? Oh my gosh. If you did want to do a grind on here, like a solid herd managed grind, it would be... Oh, hello. Oh, hi! And down he goes. Well, not of my volition. Nice silver. Level one for difficulty. Would have been nice if he was a twiggy. Get that really. seeing any white tail down. Wow, that was a tight one. So our first sign of white tail on the inner river.
Oh. Down he goes. Oh my gosh. Better be a Mella. Molting. Oh, shucks. Decent two twelve goals. So good thing we caught up with the crowd. Angry raccoon. False. Have you ever found any rares with the disturbed vegetation pack? I have. I have, and it's one of my all-time favorite experiences to have in the game, where you're just running along, checking disturbed vegetation, and then all of a sudden, you pick up a track for, like, an albino. That's how I found my albino stubble quail, and that was on live stream. And there's a short about it um, back in my channel history, and it's it was an amazing experience. My dream experience would be to be running through the woods and just be looking at the surveg and find a fabled fur type. Like, how cool would that be? And that's why I think instead of grinding to spawn great ones, I think after you reach a certain point, a great one should spawn on any of the maps where they're present. Maybe it's a random one. Maybe... It could be any one of the five that exist. Uh, you don't know. The, ga the game just chooses for you which one it is. And it just roams the map. The whole map. Not not specific need zones, specific times. Um, when it's need zones for like water, rest, uh, and feeding do happen, I think it should go to the need zone of that's closest for its species. Um... So it's never at the same need zone over and over and over again. You ha literally have to track it down and find it. That would be my dream experience for that. Cool. I've kept pack meals, so I don't have points for disturbed vegetation. I know you have to choose one or the other, and that is such a hard choice because there are times when I really, really, really would prefer to have pack meal, but I've had so much enjoyment finding... Uh, rare fur types with the disturbed veg pack. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. So I enjoy it when it does. So I think it's worth it. This is a big herd. It seems. No big male, so. There's one big man.
Biggest white tail herd on any map was Eastside River here at 12. Oh, wow. That is ginormous. White tail herds. Here. That we've already spooked. Yay. Decent sized male in there, too. So. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to put you on the Jammy Jammy party. One moment. Everybody say hi, Howard. He's purring. You can hear him. Maybe not. Anyway, that's a camo by Howard. Hope you guys got your Howard fix. Say hi, Mr. Falks. Ah. Just above the cross river. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. I gotta go up here. Check out this lake. So I did manage to catch up a little bit to that herd that we just spooked. Uh, there was a decent sized male in it, but uh, I couldn't get a shot off, so. Or at least I tried to get a shot off and it just didn't hit him. So here we're at a lake. Little level one, but there's a big boy behind him. So. Hello. Ducks. All right, so do I have a collar on me? I do have the electronic collar. Oh, it's way too far away. Haha. <laughs> I thought it was in my inventory, but I guess not. Okay, so how am I going to get that big boy behind that tiny boy? Oh, I could do this. All right, well, and it's floating. Oh, no, ah, great, great. Not what I wanted to have happen, but okay. If I swing around real fast, I can get it as it floats past this point. Maybe. Maybe. No, don't go. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. He's right there. Oh, got him. <laughs> Oh, gosh. All right. Oh, we got him. He's nice gold.
Thank you, Sea Kayak. We need kayaks in the game, guys. How many of you agree with me? Kayaks or some other form of water transportation that we control. Have you ever tried to switch up the Argus for Hyperion? It's much better for grinding. Um, that is an interesting question, and I have, actually. And, um, because I hunt using graphical information in the game and not the uh, zeroing perk, um, it... The best way I can describe it is I know by the way the visual imagery looks in the scope that I'm currently using... Uh, generally where to place my shots because the sizing is what gives me indications. And um, I have tried the Hyperion, and because it has more magnification than this scope, I tend to place my shots wrong using that scope. I can try it. You can see what I'm talking about. Um, but it's a like it's always been a weird thing with me since I don't use the zeroing perk. I don't like using range finding, and the more... And, and the more magnification in a, an instrument, the less likely I am to be accurate, weirdly enough. I know that sounds really weird, but it's the honest truth. But I can I can demonstrate it by switching them out if you want. I would love to just go kayaking down the rivers in Lane Lake. Wouldn't that be neat? Oh, and did anybody jump on the live stream where they talked about potentially crafting stuff out of animal skins and things. That sounds like a really neat thing if they do that. Not gonna lie. Moose. Looks like I have scanned the lakes around here. Crafting old style fringe left uh, leather coats. Yes. Yes, that was one of the things uh, that and coonskin hats. That would be fantastic, too. should slow down through here. I am scaring everything in its brother. Sorry, ladies. Oh, wow. Another decent sized herd and some turkeys.
at all these turkeys. My gosh. Huge flock of turkeys. Oh my goodness. Gobble, gobble. Nonsensical beings. Um, there's a decent level two. A white tail here. We got a rabbit too. Aw. This is a busy field. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it's Twiggy potential. I do have a very small rabbit that is like a point. Zero, uh, or a point eight for score. I don't want to. Didn't see nothing. Didn't even bother the level two white tail. Oh, well. I hope you know the sacrifices I made for shooting you. Look at all those turkeys. All right, bunny. Oh, tiny, look at him. Oh my gosh, what have I done? He's not a Twiggy, unfortunately, but oh my gosh, he is very cute. Looks like a rat. Old This is one of the prettiest areas in the game, though. Toad now. See, I wish I could clean this stuff up. I hope this is like a mission to come here and clean this area up, because that just detracts from the natural beauty of it. Oh! Hi! Hello! Hi. <laughs> okay. Nice gold mail. Look at the grouping on that. That was really good. 0. 0.3 under diamond. I mean, I'll take it. That's better. Jeez. Sitting in the dark.
see if I can make it to this lake real quick. It doesn't appear to have white tails. Jackson, welcome to the live stream. Hope you're doing well. How's your day going? Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, just uh, recovering still from the laryngitis. It seems to be going okay. I only noticed my voice cracking a little bit today, so that's good. Um, but just uh, chilling and streaming early because I'm going to go celebrate with a friend getting a new job uh, later on tonight. And uh, yeah, things are going good. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm very, very pleased. It's been a long time trying to get a diamond goose. Oh my gosh. Diamond of any of the goose species, really. Um, I've never even seen a level 5 goose before that moment on my own map, so... Um, or on any map, really. I've only seen them in videos, so... Oh, level four raccoon. Well, friendo, it's your lucky day. I don't have anything to shoot you with. Classica doesn't work on them, does it? geese on the ground down here. And a bear. A very big bear. If I had the 300, my man, you'd be going down. Alright. So we are getting close to the end of the need zone time. The nearest outpost is going to be up here. We'll probably go over here so we can stay along the river. Has anybody been following the trend where people are, like, stacking their Great One Moose? Like, I have seen a couple of people that are stacking Great Ones, like, three and five deep on their maps before taking them. That just, that's just wild to me. If you have the patience to do that, that's just insane. How has my bear grind gone? I have suspended my bear grind because of the drink time change. Don't see if I hear. Um, because what I would like to do is a population reset on Mississippi Acres only. Just that map if possible. And uh, I'm not sure how to accomplish that without potentially messing up my grind. So uh, I got to look into that. And get that done. But I switched over to Whitetail for the time being. Um, and I'm just kind of exploring New England Mountains as an option at the moment. Let's 
So um, I've just seen so many people having issues with the bear uh, drink time change and shooting their bears and their bears not showing up. So what I would just rather do is just do a population reset for that map only. Um, if I can. I don't know that I can. I think if you do a population reset for the whole game and I don't want to do that either because my moose grind is like solid. And I don't really like that. Heard that but not sure if it helps. One creator says four great ones is max effect. Right. I just... People, I've just seen that trend a lot on Facebook where people are stacking their great ones uh, like three and four and five deep. And I'm like, but why? <laughs> I mean, it's cool to see like multiples roaming your map, but in a way it kind of detracts from the effect of seeing great ones, you know, because they're sort of like majestic individually, I guess. I don't know. It's just a weird thing. Oh, hi. Seriously. There's a mellow one in this flock. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go sleep now. Peace and good luck. Thank you, Jumber. I really appreciate you being here, and I hope you have a great night. Hope it's restful for you, and we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye! Oh yes, you are so fleeing. It is sad that you freeze like that. I will leave you alone. I had a sleep over my friends at my friend's house last night. Got literally no sleep and everyone went to bed at like three in the morning, but it was fun. That's the best part about sleepovers is you keep each other awake and you giggle and you tell horrible jokes and you play ghost story games and that's just how it goes. I miss I miss those days. Oh my gosh. I wish adults could do sleepovers without it being creepy, you know what I mean? It's like once you reach a certain age, it's like, nah, you're good. We don't do sleepovers anymore, or anything fun for that matter. There's three good males in there as well. Probably get two of them. Let's see if I can try and get all three. Trouble is, he's behind a pine tree.
well. I think that went well. <laughs> all right. So we got all... Th I think we got all three males down. That would be fun. Oh, come on. Thank you, I appreciate that. I've actually really pride myself on my shooting skills. We did get all three. Nice. I've had people accuse me of using an aimbot, and I swear to you I don't. I don't even know how to get one installed. And even if I did, no. It just seems to defeat the purpose of the game. But he's got a nice curl at the end of his wreck. But that's just that training uh, of using the graphical information of where to place the shots. Little wonky. Look at that. Up and down. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Got those mails down. Now we need to go back to the winding river. You know, one map I have not c taken into full consideration for this is Rancho Del Arroyo. But the lakes are so big, running around them is just challenging. But Rancho was a very popular map for Whitetail Great One Hunting for a, for a while before Revan Tuli came out. Nice. <laughs> Folks, I think you should try and hunt lynx on Medved. I think they're pretty fun to hunt. Um, I did get a melanistic lynx on Medved after my moose grind had concluded because I had seen her during my moose grind and then I never saw her after that until I got my great one moose. And I went looking to see if it had been just a trick of the light or something, and I found her, and she was beautiful. I don't have a diamond lynx yet. I would love a diamond lynx or a diamond bobcat. I don't have either. The only special ones I have are my Mela and my um, blue bobcat. So that might be a fun thing to switch to here in a little bit. Some lynx hunting. I haven't been on Medved in a while. Could put a rotation or two in my moose grind. See if I accidentally spawn one. I have a goal of getting one of every great one before I start doubling up. That's my goal, is to get one of every great one before I start doubling up my, my great ones. I think that's only fair. But yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Evie. It could be fun, couldn't it? I, I, I know why you think it would be fun. Ha ha. Woof. Um... Oh my god. Did you see in my in the video I did on um the the guide video I did on getting started with the Hunter Call of the Wild, the one called uh, How to Sound Like an Expert, that when I shot that my second level nine diamond uh gray wolf, its whole pack 
came to destroy me? Did you see that? Did you see that short and all that? Oh my gosh, Evie, why you do this? Evie, why you do this? It's all Evie's fault. It's no longer Coop's fault. It's Evie's fault. <laughs> all of it. That would be fun, though. Maybe we'll do that once I clear all the rivers and finish a, a run through here. Because we don't have that much to go. And then down here, I've got a lot of need zones found. And I need to do the southern... Well, I've done the southern part of the river, I guess. Gosh, there are so many need zones, though. Oh, my gosh. It would be hard to herd manage this. What? Lol, I might. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, there were a few wolf attacks I've been involved in recently, and I squarely blame you for them, of course. As well I should. <laughs> You're welcome. I think of you every time a wolf tries to eat my face. Every single time. There's no separating you from the wolves now. As a matter of fact, I think I think a fighting type Eevee needs to be needs to look like a wolf. In my humble opinion. Silver mail. Maybe I'll draw a fighting type Eevee that looks like a wolf. And that's what we'll do. Oh, shush, Moose. Any diamonds on the grind yet? No. Well, I have had a diamond on this map that if you go watch the video One Notched, One Botched, that's the video. It also had a piebald in the same herd which I've never had happen for me before on any of my uh, maps at any time. It's had an initial spawn population with a herd that contained a diamond and a rare fur type. Too bad they weren't combined. That would have been my first super rare. But, um, there. Ah, oh, little baby bird. Quattro has a weird gl glitch where wolves render in as if they're next to your tent and go angry on you immediately. Oh my god, that's a Eevee's dream right there. Eevee's dream would be just sudden attack wolves. Wouldn't it, Eevee? Just sudden attack wolves. You better be a Mela if I come looking for you. It isn't. <laughs> Hi. Silver mail. Got him in the butt. <laughs> Got him in the booty. Get the bird. There's a little lake. Oh, it's not doing that thing. It's not letting me place waypoints. 
I thought there was an IRL airplane flying land, but no, wolves. <laughs> they get oh, they sound like broken airplanes now. I think they sound like broken dishwashers, and I still do. I want I want to also to get a um egg white female or a red brown female. Um or not female, but just a red brown, but an egg white um wolf would be nice as well because uh, for those who may not know the story, um, I have a mellow wolf in my lodge, and it was in a pack that had an eggshell white female in it as well. Like, they were both initial spawns in the same pack, and I was dumb, and for some reason thought egg white would be a common fur type. So I taxied the mella, did not taxi the female, and lost it. Sucked. Gosh, this is a big beast. All peasant? No. Goody, there's nothing here. Hi, Donna. Welcome to the live stream. Hope you're doing well. Just running around New England mountains, kind of getting a stream or a, a grind set up. Not a really strong one, just doing some initial scouting, so to speak. Hope you're doing well. Moonst. Ooh, big moonst. I wanna track a moonst. Now that piebald moose that I found on Reventuli. Oh, hello. Doing, friend. Sure are acting weird for just being alert. Hey then. So I have a dishwasher now, and the first time I used it, I got really confused as to why you were hearing angry wolves. <laughs> right? You were like, Falks? Are you in the house? And I'm just hiding in the in the sock drawer going, shh, shh. Anyway, gosh. White tail down there. Is it angry dishwasher time, guys? Shall we go run the wolf gauntlet? I do owe that to you, Evie. Gosh, I owe that to you. Running the wolf gauntlet. That has to be my next video. That is going to be my next video, is running the wolf gauntlet. Now that my voice has come back, and it seems to be holding, so... <clears throat> Yes, yes, yes. Run the wolf gauntlet. I mean, I could do it live. I'm, I'm, <sighs> why not, right? And then go hunt some lynx. 
this is this has been fun and i've enjoyed shooting some whitetail and now that i've gotten through much of the new england map it might be a little too challenging i've already got a challenging enough grind going for my bear i don't know that i want to make it doubly painful for my white tail i might go to layton i've always dreamed of getting my great one white tail on layton lake anyway because like um i think junbra said it earlier um or um j j's hunts or jb hunts i believe um it is nostalgic oh my god these pheasants I heard it coming to my right. I want to see if, there, if there's a mill up in here. What up, Diamond Sniper? What up? What up is that way? But, uh, no, it's good to see you. Oh, pheasant. Mella pheasant, are you? I can't tell. Land. Unfortunate. Birds are going to be the death of me, guys. They really are. This is a sizable need zone. Because of Bob White's. Oh boy. Y'all know how much I love my quail. They're already airborne. There go all my white tail. Oh my gosh. There's some good ones in that herd too. Ugh. The white tail or Bob Whites. Yeah, I know. I'm coming for you. Come in, my friend. Dang it. Gotta check some disturbed vegetation. Make sure we don't have a holy quail. Okay. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything interesting in there. I've already got two Diamond Bob Whites, so... One from this map, one from Mississippi. And that was a big herd of Whitetail, too. Not have changed my focus. Almost to the end of the river, guys, and then I'll tell you what. I'll jump over to Medved, we'll run the wolf gauntlet, and then we'll um there we go. Um, and then we'll uh hunt some lynx until it's time for me to go, which is going to be fairly soon here. Probably got another hour to stream. Ding. Oh, look at him. He's almost a Twiggy. Almost. I had one smaller than you before.
Fox, what's your favorite deer species in the game? It was uh, red deer. Red deer for the win. I love all their different rack styles. Um, I was collecting the, all of the rack styles for a while because I wanted to make progression charts in Sasika Safari. Uh, for that reason, my red deer lodge was very full even before I was getting diamonds. But I love the red deer. Um, I haven't spent enough time hunting the deer on Emerald Coast to really appreciate those ones. I really should, though, spend more time with them. Because there are some some that I don't have diamonds of yet. Um, I think the only diamond I have is of the Rusa or the Sambar. It's either a Sambar or a Rusa, but I, uh, I need to get the other one, and then I need to get the hog deer as well. Miss Call of the Wild? Well, gotta jump back on when you get an opportunity. I try to pull away from this game, guys. I really do. Sometimes I'm like, uh, I need to play something else. But it keeps calling me back. Like, it is hard once you get into it to break away from Call of the Wild. And it's, it's that what if factor. Plain and simple. Like, what if I get my great one? What if I get a amazing trophy? What if, what if, what if? Almost to the end, guys. Almost to the end. Got a little ways to go past this bridge. I've been wanting to see when Ultimate Hunting is going to come out, because I was going to give that a try. Um, as we all know, I struggle with the soundscape in uh, Way of the Hunter, so I don't play it. Sally only can do that when I go home to visit my family. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it would be challenging for sure to not have it regularly. Or regularly available, I should say. Cool. I'll second that to Call of the Wild, right? It's just so hard to pull away from once you once you're in it. Especially if you have, like, grinds established and things. Like, I tried so hard not to get sucked into the grinding culture. I actually campaigned against it for a long time. But if you want to be a successful content creator, that's where the attention is. And it is. It's very much like, it's the what-if factor. It's, you know, trying to, to as Jaxie Beard likes to say, collect your Pokemon, get your shinies. <laughs> But it is a wonderful game. Like it's I for the hunting genre, it is my all-time favorite of the hunting genre. Like Cabela's was great. Take off flying, follow your friend. Dang it. Gotta remind me, guys. Well, I got a few. Silver, not bad. Both of my diamonds are red-browns. I do love that fur type for this bird. Brown male. 
had silvers. Okay. Cool. Quick little quail hunt. What was my favorite mission animal? That's a good question. Um, so I've played the Quattro missions and gotten Sombra, Phantasma, and the other one. Oh, girl. Um, which, all of their stories was very, very sad. Um, especially Ogros. Um, but I recently played the Diamond Super Rare mission on Medved to get B-roll for my instructional video. And I really liked that mission. So I really liked that Diamond Albino uh, mission on Medved. The Wolves on Quattro were really close, but those are the only ones I've really, really done. Um, I did play through the Mr. Black mission on Leighton Lake when it was first discovered that there was a glitch that would cause him to be a great one black bear, and I tested the glitch, and it did work. Um, I actually did harvest him as a great one uh, bear, but promptly deleted and destroyed the trophy um, just to prove that the glitch existed. Um, but, uh, yeah, the Mr. Black mission was kind of eh. So, I would say that the albino uh, brown bear. I like the story behind it. What about you, Jackson? What's your favorite? Moonstone. The end? Did we make it? We made it. anything down all right guys there is one thing i want to do before turning over to medved just for my sake of mind welcome back evie we're getting ready we just made it to the end of the river i am gonna jump jump to the other map and do something different but i am curious because now that we've moved all of the hunting pressure off of the side all along these river areas i want to go back to where my diamond and piebald bite tails were to see what spawned in their place. Now that we've cleared the um, uh, hunting pressure off of it, so. Oh, the Mocha Moose. Yeah, I did do the Mocha Moose recently on live stream, just for fun. Um, there, yeah, it was definitely an experience. Um, you gotta be careful with that mission because there is an exploit around it. Oh, hello. Um, and I accidentally fell into the trap of it. Um, but uh, yeah, I got that one too. Oh, wow. Look at him. Okay. You guys want to see me try and get all three of these guys? Gosh. That one out front, man. All right. So if I'm going to do this, the best way to do it is going to be blam, blam, and blam. Except that he's walking off and changing position and... Well, thanks for that. Um, yeah, the Mocha Moose was wild. I, I That was very fun. I do have him. He's a recent acquisition. All right. At least I got two of them. Did you harvest smoke moose? I did. I did. He's in my lodge. We can go take a look later if we want. Ooh, more. Yeah, I wish the Mocha fur type had been a great one fur type. Does anybody else agree with me on that? Because I, th I I think they were considering it at one time, uh, but they chose not to, which I think is an absolute travesty. It would have been so cool to be able to get the Mocha Moose. 
as a great one for a type. Ah, uh, come on. He's standing behind a tree. I'm just going to focus on these two. Yeah, you agree? I think it would have been cool. Or at least, you know, make it a very, very rare piebald variant, maybe? Oh, wow. Oh, everybody. It's a really low, wide rack. Have you tried the new weapon pack? Yes, I have. In fact, my entire last live stream was nothing but playing with it. We were on Reventuli Coast for a good long time, just running around shooting whatever we could find with everything. And the 300 is a great, great gun. I also went on uh, Verhonga Savannah, and there's a couple of shorts of me using it on things like Gemsbok. Um, and then, or not uh, that, but the sidearm, the... Jernberg. I love the Jernberg. It was like the unsung hero of the pack during that time. And that is an amazing gun as well. You moved. Thanks. Can you stop? Oh my gosh, they are not in good positions. That's just fine. Stop. We'll rooster him. Eh. <laughs> So what's your favorite weapon in the new weapon pack there, Jackson? Nice. 
Duh. Did you find any diamond level 7 bobcats? I don't think bobcats can make diamond at level 7. I think that they can make it at level 8. Possibly. Have you ever heard of that happening, Jabez? Ooh, big one, right? There's some decent bucks in this herd. Swim! That can now, it's a bug. Oh! Huh! I was not aware of that. That is really cool. I'm gonna have to see if I can find one. Because that would be kind of rare. Imagine. Don't have time for this. I gotta go run the wolves. Right. That big boy right there. That two fifty one. Almost diamond, not quite. Out of enough of you gray foxes. Though. Is this that one herd? I might have to postpone that check. I want to honor my decision with you all. All right. Look at all of these really nice white tail. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go for him. Oh, Got the big one. Well, I'll have Flinter for a level eight. Someone in Discord got a seven. Okay, I'll have to check that out. I have not seen that yet. Here, as a matter of fact, why don't I go look now? Um, is there a particular section on their Discord I should be looking at? Is it like trophy set? Is there a trophy section I should pay specific attention to? All right, here we go. Doing the tap dance. 214, not bad. All right, well, since we're getting low on time and I want to honor what I said I would do. Just call the wild chat. Uh, trophy gallery? General? Out of sugar, fox. Mixed goat. Oh my gosh, I want a mixed goat. 
bold one. Probably very deep now. See, there's Call of the Wild. It says Call of the Wild General, Help and Tips, Trophy Lodge, Support. I'll have to look for it, guys, for sure. Because I've never heard of that. That would be, like, really, really crazy. But I will definitely check it out. Alright, so now we are on Medved. Uh, gotta figure out when wolves drink. Um, they drink at... I know I've got some over here. So. When do wolves drink? Guess we're gonna have to break out the old Call of the Wild uh, guide. Hold on one second. Because I don't hunt wolves on this map. I might have, well, I, I did get a, my first diamond on this map, but it was an accident. Gray wolf. Uh, 17 to 20 hundred is what it says. I thought they drank at night. All right, 17 to 20 hundred it is. So. What we're going to do is we are going to go to the top of here. Now, for those of you who don't know what the gauntlets are, uh, when Emerald First Coast when when Emerald Coast when Emerald Coast first came out, oh my gosh, when Emerald Coast first came out, CJO the Hunter issued a challenge called the Croc Gauntlet, and it was to run up and down the beach on the east hand side of the EC map with absolutely nothing in your inventory at night and get eaten by crocodiles. And if you could run the entire beach without getting eaten, you would win. So this is Evolution Lover's variant of that in that it is the Wolf Gauntlet. And we are going to run down the river sans all of our gear. No gear that can help us. No collars, no gray light goose sentries. No scent eliminator, and the wolves are excited. Not even binoculars. We're going to have no thing but bullets we can't use. We're even going to go to our character and make sure he is as down-dressed as he can be. So he's going to wear the Australian bushwhacker outfit here in this area, the snowy, snowy area during the wolf gauntlet. And then what, what time did I say? I've already forgotten. Oh my gosh, are you ready for this, Evie? I know you're chomping at the bit for this. Oh my gosh. So we're going to try and make it down this river and not get eaten by wolves. So 17, 18, 19, 20. So let's put it... Oh, we're at 1803. That'll work. All right. Here we go. And I'm also going to do an even better bit um, just to get everything spawned in. We'll log out, log back in. And then we'll run the river. And where else there are wolves? Are they sure they drink at this time? Because I feel like they should drink at night. Don't they drink at night on Yukon? Like, according to the Call of the Wild friend app, it says, uh, or companion app, it says now. All right. All right, Evie, here we go. I can't even buy Nox anything. I don't know what's coming. So I'm just going to run <laughs> and see what happens. We'll have to do wolf protocol for sure. And very old. All my moose for my moose grind, they're all gone. Boy. Oh, bears. Oh, okay. Man, I wish I had my binox. Um if I could at least see them. Three bears. Oh my gosh, what what's going on? Why? That one looked kind of dark. Maybe it was a Mela. Maybe it should be the bear gauntlet. I don't think this is right. 
I don't think this is the right time. According to the Call of the Wild companion app, that's when it says, hold on. This doesn't feel right. No? All right. Well, they should be here. <laughs> Please do not yell at me. I am scared already. Do not attack me, Moose. Well, this seems like a rather pleasant run. And if not here, Evie, I will go to the big lake and run and do like laps around the big lake. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Big Bear just shot it through here, huh? So the point is, I have to get from the head of the river all the way down to the end of the map where the river ends. Without getting eaten. While I'm running, I'm gonna see if I can find that cat you guys were talking about. Probably be to bury deep now for sure. Oh, well, this seems pretty pleasant. Don't know what I was worried about, Evie. <laughs> My other tent. We. That a wolf? Oh, there they are. All right, here we go, guys. All right, here we go. Here's the actual start of the wolf gauntlet. Oh my gosh! Hi, great one hunter. How are you? If you're doing well, I'm running the wolf gauntlet. Probably going to die here in a second, but <laughs> how are you? Doing well. About to get eaten by a wolf. Oh, Evie. Oh, Evie. Okay, ran off. I'll probably get eaten by him, actually. Bird? Chase me? You want me to grind for Great One Moose? I already have a great one, Moose. I need to get one of each before I double up. I also need a diamond wild boar. That would also be nice. Well, this wolf did not want to play, so... Bye, wolf. wolf.
I grind moose. I miss that split rack anymore. Are are you saying that the only thing you're missing is the split rack? Yeah, currently I have one red deer, fallow deer, and moose. And then I'm trying to get the bear and the uh, whitetail before I go and get doubles of everything. Sort of a personal goal of mine. That's awesome. You have a lot then. You're just waiting on a split rack, huh? That wolf is leaving. Like the wolves don't want to play right now. I remember during my croc gauntlet, at one point I had six crocodiles trying to eat me all at once. You have 25 great one moose? Oh my gosh. That is a lot of moose. You still get excited when you see them? Like, I, that's a, just a legitimate question. I'm not trying to, like, question the validity of what you're doing. But I am curious because... After a while, like with diamonds and stuff, unless it's a species you don't have a diamond in, uh, I find that if I'm getting diamonds in the same species over and over, it tends to kind of wear out its welcome, so to speak. So do you feel that or, or what's it like for you to have so many? Howard once back in. Not really? You don't get excited anymore when you see them? Were you stacking yours? Because that's a trend I've also seen where people are stacking their great ones like four and five deep before they harvest them. Are you doing that? Just again, out of curiosity. Howard, you're fine. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's yelling at my door being like, help. This has so far been an elemental. I have one great one, a fallow golden with an elk rack. Nice. Yeah, I've just got my the, the three individual ones. And like I said, I would really, really like to get one of each before I start doubling up. That's a big wolf pack. All right, Evie. That's a big wolf pack ahead. It better go aggressive. <laughs> Gulp. There could be some really nice wolves that I'm missing because I don't have my binox. I have grinds going for red deer, white tail, moose, and bear. Yeah, I just I I do have my bear grind, which I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with it. And then I, you know, my white tail, I'm trying to figure that one out. Might have to be a late night one. Because as you guys saw while I was running around, um, Oh, they're fleeing. Come on, I want to get attacked. Why are you fleeing? I have nothing on me. I'm literally a sitting duck. Could take years, right? It could, absolutely. It took me almost a solid calendar year to get my, uh, right one moose. Gonna follow these wolves. Can't harvest them or nothing. More. I see another pack. 
Hopefully these ones go aggressive. Don't be skittish. I don't have any weaponry on me. That the great one fallow in 391 kills. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. Mine was 15 to 1700. I wasn't keeping tight track of it, but you know, I was able to kind of look at how many I was harvesting per zone and kind of think of my rotations. Because I remembered roughly how many rotations I'd done. I love HM. I'm more happy with super rares. I don't have a super rare yet, despite my grinds. I do have two melanistic red deer. Set up unreasonable hope, right? You got it early and then you were hoping to get your next ones early? Yeah, I can see that happening for sure. I was really hoping to be one of those to get my great one black bear in like just a few hundred kills. I, I'm only 60 kills in, so it's still possible, but... I don't know. I just... The, the whole need zone drink time change. I threw everything off. Well, Evie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disappoint, but your wolves are, are not taking the bait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shush. We're getting close to the end, too. Links, not Bobcat. Using the search feature. I mean, that would be cool to get a level 7 Bobcat. Again, fleeing. Maybe you have to sneak. that before I had that much cash, I pulled tents and tryouts for the next map. Yeah, that's that's a hard thing is when you have to decide to pull chocks on a grind and go start another one. And are you going to reuse your resources or oh, or are you going to buy new stuff? Oh my gosh, Evie. I don't know if you can see that pack of wolves, but I can and it is monstrously huge. And if it doesn't attack me here, let's try this. Link's running by. aggressive come on oh uh, yeah all right evie it's on it's on evie oh no oh no i have no means to defend myself all right there they are oh my gosh i can't even tell what what's which one's what 
Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Wolf protocol. Hope you're happy, Evie. You guys coming or what? Come on. We got other wolves to find. Oh, here they come. Wolf protocol. Wolf protocol. Gotta dance circles. You can do this. You can do the cronk got croc gauntlet. I almost said cronk gauntlet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh gosh, <laughs> Evie! Why do you do this to me? You have to go now? Are you kidding me, Evie? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh my gosh. Just keep running from the wolves. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I can't even see where I'm going. Thanks, Evie. Thanks. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. No! Oh gosh, I'm stuck on a tree! Ah, no! No, 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 no! No! Please don't do it! Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more! No, it's not my fault. It's dinner is, really. Oh gosh, I'm about to be dinner! I am dinner! Bark, bark. Ah! <laughs> oh gosh, help. Uh. <laughs> oh, Sky Wolf wants your money! <laughs> Sky Wolf just got my money. Oh, hello. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta make it to the end of the river. Oh my gosh. Oh no! I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost. Ah! Oh. Oh, goodbye, wolves. I lost the wolf gauntlet. Oh my gosh! And I'm stuck in my tent. And I'm stuck. Like I landed in the lawn chair. <laughs> what the? Hello? Okay, hold up. I gotta fast travel. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I really got to do something with the wolf gauntlet, I guess. Oh, my goodness. All right. How what time is it? 531. All right, guys, I got about 30 more minutes and then I got to go. But that was a lot of fun. Um, I kind of wanted to see. Uh, if there were any wolf packs down here, I'm, I am going to grab my binocs. I'm going to count that as the one as the start of the wolf gauntlet. Um, oh my gosh, this is a bright tent. Um, I just want my bike. Snow in my tent. It's not even doing its job. Um, and then we'll hunt some, uh, lynx for a little bit. Let's see. I just wanted to see if, well, no, we'll put that one for one. I just want to see if there's any interesting wolves down here. Like, if there's a... Oh, no, I grabbed the wrong ones. Ugh. The range finding in them. Oh, well. Uh, but if there was one, like, with a rare fur type, that would be cool. So, yeah, if you want to try running the wolf gauntlet, you've got to take all your stuff out of your, all of your defensive stuff and, and informational stuff out of your inventory and try to run the river north to south without getting eaten. And it can be done. I'm sure it can be, but it's very, very challenging, to say the least. There. Have I spotted any of the wolves? No. 
have found links. It does not appear that there are wolves down here. I can see. Yes, hello, friend. I'm sorry. You should run away. Been running Crocs with a muzzle loader and pistol. It's fun. Absolutely. Like, I've been running Crocs with the little handheld, uh, the new Jernberg, and that is a really fun one to do. And then the 300, I mean, that is an amazing weapon for them as well. So, yeah, Crocs have been a lot of fun lately. I have two piebalds and a light brown. I need an albino and a mela. I want to get a piebald alligator. Old. I don't think there's any wolf packs down. I am going to check the big lake. We can do some loot. Wolves, hello. I was told there would be wolves. The big lake. I guess, not. I guess it was all lies. Welcome back, Cameron. So where's everybody's favorite spots to hunt lynx? Because I've done some lynx hunting on here, and I've shot quite a few. Um, we can hit a few areas, and then unfortunately I am going to have to bounce. But... I just realized something that even... Links or wolves, I wouldn't have anything to shoot them with. <laughs> You're gonna get on Call of the Wild, nice. All the way south on the right side. Wait, well, I did. Oh, you mean for um, all the way south on the right side? Go down. There's some moles. Seven in there. Small pack. Unless there's more tucked in the shrubbery. All right. Well, all the way south on the right hand side, go to the outpost. You mean down in here? Uh, let me get geared up and then we'll go and see if we can find some links. I would love a diamond lynx. If this gets me a diamond lynx, sea kayak, the policy on my channel is you get to name the diamond. 
If your suggestion gets me a diamond, you get to name it. I'll dress back up. All right, Remy. You could do the varminter. Now let's stick with the docent. It's got a little more power to it. All right, uh, weapons. Bridge. This one. thing will be very light today. Um, welcome back, Ashley. All right, uh, let's get set up. Let's do four AM, thirty AM. Let's do an even five. Fields and lake just north. Okay. It's different here when you're here in the early morning hours. I hunt this lake for moose or used to. Little links. Oh, there's a little six down there. Going down. There we go. First links. Bet you there's some links up here. Right, friendo nice gray we got him just on the top of that lung so we got to be careful with that nice gold very cool a lot of activity here at one point pardon another one i don't have a diamond in We could come down here. Hi. Boost for my Meeson grind. Level seven, very hard. Okay. Watch it be a diamond, right? Let's 
six hard. I think I want to go for that level seven, though. Good hit on him, and down he goes with a little hop. <laughs> nice, nice. There's a lot of them on this lake. Oh my gosh. Another gray, 25, so 27.68, so basically 28 and it's done. Essentially what you're looking at. Oh, another one, another level 7, very hard right there. Go get him taken. Can anybody tell the difference for a piebald one? Because I know that there are piebald links, but they're very hard to find. Their color is a little, like, difficult to tell apart from, like, other colors. brown oh his eyes were closed oh my gosh dude never saw one am i thinking of the right let me see So if you go to the Wikipedia page on the internet, um, they usually have, yeah, there is, there is a piebald one. There, the way you can tell it mostly is it's got kind of a white collar around its neck. Um, but they have pictures of the different fur types if you're curious to what they look like. Two females. A lot of links up here. I wouldn't mind a piebald links. I have a Mella. Level seven, very hard. It no. Or it's broken. Be broken. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a different color. It's just so hard to tell sometimes because of the 
the fact that it's gray like so many of the other colors. Now, I do have a piebald musk deer on here, but I've already got one or two of those. A remnant from my great one news grind. Gosh, I can't believe it's already been so many months since my moose. I, that happened back in November. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. see blood oh let's see yes vampire kangaroos for sure that's a great way to describe them actually Surely he didn't run that far off. Must have been another male. Aw. Stuck in a rock. Yeah, we messed him up good, but not in any good ways. <laughs> oh my gosh, poor thing. Oh my gosh, that we totally messed him up. Kangaroo vampire. Hello, kangaroo vampire. Blue's cage right now. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. Ah, uh, little level four. I can't shoot him. Too tiny. Nitty bitty. He's a biscuit. Can't hunt you, biscuit man. Long man Jenkins. Um, do I have time? Probably not to make it. But I kind of want to see if there's any over here. At the same time, I want to use my time. Oh, caribou. I forgot. It is there during time as well. There's a big feller out there, but probably not diamond potential. That's a big feller, too. Not diamond potential, I don't think. Hi. Probably not going to be any on this lake. Getting a nor'easter right now. Uh, 
two inches of rain tonight? Yikes. When I lived in New England, yeah, that was a big part of what I did up there was I had to monitor the weather very, very closely for the uh, level of activity that I was doing. Let's just say don't get in a boat and go out during a nor'easter, guys. Not a good idea. Please don't. Do not do this. Ooh. That one does have diamond potential at level 7. I doubt it will make it, but... Or no, with glitches going on and such. Gabby. Go for him. Jody, welcome to the live stream. You're just in time, kind of. We're actually going to close up the live stream here in a little bit. But uh, we switched up and decided to try to run the wolf gauntlet and uh, hunt some cats. Uh, yeah, nowhere near. So um, we are on Medved hunting lynx. I think I'm going to try just for the heck of it, just because... This lake here doesn't have anything on it at all. And I just, I, I have a feeling that maybe Lynx drink there. So that'll be the last lake I check tonight, guys. And then uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go to my lodge and we'll take a look at my Mellow Lynx. And then we'll call it a night. Uh, but uh, I really appreciate you guys being here for the early live stream. And Jody, thank you for popping in. And I, it's always a pleasure to see you. No troubles for... For this, I started early because I was invited to a friend's house later to celebrate her getting a new job, and I wanted to uh, go do that. So we will see how that goes. But I do want to check this lake just for the fun of it because there's nothing that drinks there that I've been able to find, and it bothers me actually <laughs> that nothing drinks here. Not even moose drink at this lake, and it used to be the case, but. Not anymore. So yeah, welcome. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How's your week going? I might live stream again tomorrow. I don't think we have a lot planned. I might do a double this weekend. Found a max weight moose tracks, but never got to the zone. Oh no. Yeah, that's always tough when you find a max weight track and you get really excited and you're like, huh. Please level 9 legendary links at this lake. Let's manifest that. That would be fun. I don't have a diamond lynx. I don't have a diamond bobcat. Good to see you, folks. Sorry I missed so much of the stream. Like I said, no no trouble, Jody. It's really good to see you. I just decided to start early because I had a sudden invitation to go out and I haven't been out in a while. It's like, nice. So I apologize that I didn't announce that um, earlier. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm also thinking about 
maybe streaming tomorrow if we get all of our stuff done. Yes, join the Discord. Share your trophies. I want to see your accomplishments. See what's going on in people's lives. Hi, Musketeer. Hello. That's like a lot. Oh, there are a lot. Oh, please do not run me over repetitiously. What, guys? Ah! Fly down the mountain front. You have the feather fall perk, so. I tend to fall down things a lot. Thank you, Jody, for sharing my merch shop. Fitsbyfox.com. If you want to support the channel in other ways, purchasing something from the shop is always good. That's something I need to post in the members area is the discount codes for... anything. Slap the heck out of the like button. Yes, slap it silly. It needs to be taught to be a good like button. <laughs> nothing here. There's nothing that drinks here. This lake has been abandoned. Nothing here. Nothing ever comes here. It sucks. Okay, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Let's see, what about this lake? Let's see, it was one of these lakes where I got my Mela. Um, maybe one more, maybe one or two more. <laughs> Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Evie. No. Bad dogs. Bad dogs. Mm -mm. Nope. No. No. Bad dog. Stay where you're at. Yeah, you flee. Would have been sad to see just like a huge pack of wolves come running down the railroad tracks at me but just like a freaking train of wolves that would have been amazing wolf may be stuck
Yes, you you should have been here a little earlier because uh, we ran the wolf gauntlet and I did get eaten by wolves, much to Evie's glee and happiness. Of course, they had to leave <laughs> while I was getting eaten by wolves. Gosh, you can stop calling now. Oh my gosh! I thought that was a massive wolf. Oh my gosh, no. No, now I can hear it. Reindeer. Okay. Yes, there must be cats out here. Please do not. <laughs> Six level four female. Two female, a level three female, a level six. Morning call. Oh, my gosh, can you not? It was pretty good. For the most part, the wolves had trouble getting engaged. Oh my gosh, spirit bear. Level 7, very hard. I get them all the time. All the time I get spirit bears. And it's annoying because they're supposed to be an uncommon uh, type. Wolves are just screaming. Are the wolves still screaming, Clarice? Gold, light brown. We lightly nicked that lung, but we got it. All right. So there is another lake nearby. Oh my god. Flip a nut. Um, there is another lake nearby, and we'll go check that one. We'll go take a look at my melon, and then we'll have to call it a night. Uh, Grandma and I started a casual bear grind on SRP. Uncommons usually seem pretty cool. Oh my god! Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Nice doggies. Nice doggy. Okay, whoa. Oh my gosh. say and the uh bullet i shot it with is not gonna kill it quick because this is my docent so i'm just gonna let him go oh my gosh what is going on with these wolves i'm getting out of here oh my gosh that was terrifying. <laughs> well, there you go. A, my, a miniature wolf gauntlet. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't realize it was coming after me. Let's get this reloaded up. Just in case. Should have brought in the Jernberg. Oh, that would have been fun. So taking the wolf with the Jernberg single shot. Oh my gosh. That would have been fun. Next time. Next time, folks. 
All right. Let's manifest level nine legendary links on this lake. Here's to hope. It was. It was a bit of a startle, honestly. It was a jump scare. I'm sure Coop would have loved it. Remember when we were playing and that loud gunshot thing happened when we were, got, were here uh, grinding moose, Coop, if you're still on? Oh my gosh. And you made that jump scare vid of me? <laughs> that was funny. That was a good time. That was terrifying. I think it, what it was is the game has programmed sound points to make things echo when you're in like a deep bowl or in the mountains or something. And I was standing right next to that point when I fired my weapon. Glad it wasn't just me that heard it. Aw, oh, just a wee baby level one female. I couldn't have you been a male, then you would have been Twiggy. Oh yes, I remember. Oh, Jody. Yes, you were there. That's right, you were there. Oh my gosh, that was probably the most terrifying thing that's happened to me in Call of the Wild. Not gonna lie. Yes, my dear. Well, it looks like we just got a couple of females down here. I don't see any more. All right, but this was still fun. That was a nice change of pace. Let's come back here on Medved and hunt something other than moose. One female. But it doesn't look like there's any males on this particular lake. So, you finally got the angler that's free on the Epic Game Store. It is for a limited time. Please, if you want to check that out, please check that out. Um, um, so let's go to the Trophy Lodge. Let's go to my flagship lodge, Spring Creek Manor 1. I'll show you two trophies, actually. Uh, and then we'll part company because I do have to go. But... Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. If we get everything accomplished tomorrow that we intend to get accomplished around the house, uh, maybe I'll hop back on and do some more grinding or we'll go maybe multiplayer hopping or something fun. Um, but while I'm here in our flagship lodge, look over there. It's the diamond goose. Finally got him, guys. There he is. Diamond gray leg goose. Oh my gosh, there he is. And I just paired him up with a bunch of weird fur type from... Uh, Gosh, not Medved, uh, Revan Tuli. But there he is. Finally got him. Here's my big rack, big horn sheep that you guys didn't get to see the video of because the video did not record. So there's him. He's gorgeous as well. There are my, uh, there's my melanistic wolf that had been with the egg white female and then uh, Sombra to compare sizes. Look at the difference between the gray wolf and the um, Iberian wolves. They are just crazy. And there's my Mella Pheasants with my Leucistic. There's my Godless Rabbit. All right. But the real star of the show is upstairs. So running all the way around. You guys can check out my trophies as we go by. Glenda's Bear. Musk Deer. Oh, and my old man. Gotta stop and say hi to the old man. Hello. Hello, old man. I gotta put up my other uh, Diamond Coyote. My recent hunt. Anyway, so zoom. It's the Terror Bird. It's awesome. Yes, yes. He looks great right there. I love that. Princess Leia Sheep. Nice. Have fun this evening. Hope to see you tomorrow. I hope so too, Jody. I really do. I appreciate everybody's understanding. It's been a while since I've gotten out, so it'll be nice. Um, uh, this one's interesting. This is a female gold. Uh, was a level four. I've never seen one. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, just impromptu tour of my lodge. <laughs> my... Uh, Piebald Coyotes, and then, of course, the star of the show, since we were just there, my Melanistic Lynx. 
there she is. Isn't she a beauty? Oh my gosh. Love her so much. And I paired her up with my melanistic coyote from way, way long ago. And along with my wall of albinos and leucistics. Are you? No, you're just a diamond. Yeah, you're just a diamond. Mountain goat. Um, got by accident. And my uh, albino wildebeest. So pretty cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this live stream. Thank you so much for watching. We'll stop right here. If you've enjoyed coming along on this adventure, you know what to do to support the channel. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. Watch each video start to finish as much as possible. That really pushes me out to the algorithm. I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, if I'm able to hop on, just look for the announcement to pop up on your feed if you've rung the bell. Um, I'll also try to remember to post that I'm getting on, guys. I know I've been really bad about that lately, but I thank you for your patience. It's just a lot going on. Uh, now that I'm settled into the job and, you know, summer kicking off and my daughter graduating this year. So it's like, oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing the best I can. But thank you for your continued support. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Jody, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for hopping on the last few minutes. See Kayak. It was fun. Thank you for your conversation pieces. And everybody else who hopped on, thank you so much. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.